What's up, everybody, and welcome to episode 12 of 4 Life Basketball Cards podcast series. You guys probably know me from uh, my Instagram page, at 4 Life Basketball Cards. Let's get started, guys. So for today's episode, I wanted to go over what I bought today um, recently. So I did go to the MVP Sports Cards, and I did pick up a Kobe Topps Rookie 138. Super stoked on that. Um... I've been buying them for around 120 to 150. I mean, I've been buying them from 120 to 130 for the last, I'd say, month or so. Sports cards, they basically had it for um, 150. I went in there trying to negotiate. He was not negotiating. So in my head, I was like, okay. All the other ones I tried to buy on eBay, they were asking, you know, 140, 145, and they already got sold. So the market did go up. Um, I was kind of stuck on that price of 120, 130, just because I'd been buying it for so long for that price. It's, it's you'll you'll tend to see that it's hard to like, I don't know, like move up in price once you know like that you bought it for less before. Um, but I think that was just a situation of the the market changed and I wasn't getting with the market, so I didn't want to look back and be like, wow, I didn't spend the extra you know 30 bucks just because I was buying it for, you know, 120, 130 before. So I went ahead and I bought it um, for 150, um, closed the deal. So I was super stoked on that. And then what was interesting to see was when I got back home, there was a bidding for uh, the same card on eBay that's ending today. The bidding currently right now for that same card that I bought today is at 176 with 50 minutes left right now currently. Um, so if you just base it off of that, you know, I got it for 26 bucks less than market value, um, which is super cool for me. Um, and it just shows you how the market is changing for that Kobe tops 138 PSA 10. I mean, it was still 50 minutes left. It will be at, I could see it selling for 200. I mean, couldn't you? It's already at 176, 49 minutes ago. I could see it hitting 200. Um, so just the ones I got for 120 make it even sweeter. Um, so that's basically what I got today. Um, I also, um, did pick up Alonzo Ball Prism PSA 10 for, with shipping and everything included $24, which I think is a steal just because his value right now is shot just because of the whole trade and everything and the big baller brand, um, which he's basically an unsigned free agent with the shoe deal. Um, I think he's giving LeVar like a year to figure out the company before he makes his decision. Um, but basically his, you know, whole, his value shot. Um, so at $24 and with him not being healthy the last two seasons, guys, it's, it's a major, major, um, steal. Um, so I'm stoked on that. Um, at 24 bucks, I thought it was a really good price. Um, and then also the Luca cards, guys. The Luca cards have been interesting to see the last couple of days. Um, I'm seeing them start to sell for 80, 85, which again, a couple months ago, I was talking about they're selling for 60 where you could have got it then. And if you're in it for a quick flip, you could just make a quick flip right now. And the, the price is probably gonna continue to rise. Um, so if you're looking for a quick flip, I mean, or if you did make that decision, it's, you made some money off Luca right away right now. Um, but again, it's selling for 80, 85. It could potentially hit 90. We'll see. Um, another guy that I'm all in on, again, I have 25 of his um, PSA 10s. I have another, say, I don't know, 10 in grading. I have a silver in grading as well and two greens in grading. Um, so those will hopefully be back soon. Um, also wanted to talk about Deer and Fox. Um, the prices have basically slowed down since um, the whole thing before where uh, people were thinking that Gary was influencing the market, Gary V, which he was just telling people that it was a good, in my opinion, was he was just literally telling people, yo, this is what I'm buying because I think there's potential in it. Um, and I think he's, what he saw was so many people jumped on it. So he basically stopped talking about Deer and Fox. Um, and you saw that the prices kind of came down. Um, and it's good for me because I don't want to pay over price prices for that. So I'm going in right now and starting to buy Darren Fox again. Um, again, with Luke Walton's system that he's in, um, it's going to be really, really nice 
for him to it's basically a free-flowing offense and not too much defense so i think it would work perfectly for a young point guard like that um basically i mean showing off all his offensive skills and Jaren fox is super athletic so it's going to be really fun to see um and i just card prices i was getting a while ago like you know six bucks a base i mean it's a pretty good deal um so it's going to be another thing that i'm going to be watching is where the Darren fox card goes before October that or before the start of the season um, which season's almost coming up guys I mean I think opening nights like October 19th October 20th for some teams so it is coming up um also I did check for Pokemon Hidden Fates tins today in the Elite Trainer box did not find anything um but you know still had to go out there and check again if you want to make quick flips the Elite Trainer box is where it's at as well as the Hidden Fates tins. Um, you can buy them for 20, flip them for 30 on Letgo and Craigslist. The Hidden Fates Elite Trainer boxes, you can buy them for 50, flip them for 75. Um, so another quick flip there. Um, and then yes, my dabble in soccer cards, guys. Um, if you aren't wrapping your head around soccer cards, man, you're gonna be missing out on some money. I'm not saying in the next like six months, but in the next you know year, two years, three years, there's going to be some big money there. This Ronaldo rookie card. This is a sticker rookie card. Um, so this, I mean, it's in pretty good condition. I don't expect to get a 10. Um, but, you know, a PSA 9 would be solid for me. Um, so this card currently, I got it for $117. Um, not a lot of PSA 10s for the sticker. Um, and I compare Ronaldo to a Michael Jordan um, and Messi as well, just because they're pure you know, talent, um, as well as their influence and culture in the soccer world. So it's comparable exactly to a Michael Jordan card. Again, Ronaldo has, you know, 130, 140 million followers on Instagram. Well, if you compare that to, you know, one of the most famous players in basketball right now, LeBron James, he only has 30 million. Um, so the fan base is there. Um, so as basically sports cards rolls into the whole soccer world, you know, this card at $117 raw could be $1,000 raw real quick. Um, just based on that pop report of followers on Instagram. I mean, super easy to see. Again, not on the pop report on PSA, not too many of these cards have been graded. Um, I saw a couple PSA 7s and 8s on uh, eBay going, selling or trying to, I mean, on the market for like 350, 400. Um, so it will be cool to see where that card goes as well um another guys is d'angelo russell um him in the warriors again we saw him do what he did best with the nets which is basically run the floor shoot the threes high pick and roll um and honestly he like he was a top player in the league i, I would put him in the top 20 i know in last year in the top 20 even top 15 to be honest i mean in in terms of my favorite player he was definitely like top three I just loved watching him play. And I think in the Warriors offensive system, it's going to be super nice. Um, so, I, you know, this D'Angelo Russell card at eight bucks a card, uh, 50 bucks PSA 10s. Um, going into a whole new system with the Warriors, they'll have Green Mont Green. If a healthy Steph Curry is there and a D'Angelo, an all star caliber D'Angelo Russell is there, they're going to be ready to go into the playoffs. And then Clay Thompson is going to be ready to go in the playoffs. So, um, some other ones I'm sending into PSA um, in the next couple days to Will. The LeBron 221s, I've been talking about these like forever, guys. Um, this card, I think, is going to be huge. Selling for about $500 in PSA 10, you can get these Raws for around 60 to 80 And then again, the Kobe 138s. I've been buying them from 60 to, 6 to 10 bucks uh, recently. Um, so... I mean, now I think you can only get them for like, you can get them for around like 12, 13, 14. I mean, their prices are going up because people are starting to see the value. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, that's going to be it for today, guys. I appreciate you guys, you guys listening. Um, again, you guys probably know me from Afro Life Basketball Cards. I also have a TikTok, Afro Life Basketball Cards, which just reached, guys, a thousand followers. So I think I'm a little over a thousand right now, but this morning I hit a thousand. I'm super stoked. I'm super grateful. Um, if you guys don't have a TikTok, go download it, go follow me. I post some creative stuff I'd like to say on there, so it's pretty cool. 
Um, basically what I take here in a, in a short environment telling people what I'm buying and what I'm selling it for, stuff like that. Um, also have a Twitter page, App for Life Basketball Cards. And then if you want to know me on a personal level or a more personal level, because usually I'm just more on the For Life Basketball Card pages, you can follow me at Big Sosh. That's kind of my personal page that I've had, you know, since high school. Um, and then make sure you like this, uh, like this video, make sure you, you like this podcast, make sure you subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I appreciate it guys. Um, I'll see you.